The business of raising turkeys is strong in Michigan, thanks in part to Sietzma Farms of Allendale. The family farms are owned and operated by Rick Sietzma, his father Harley, and other partners, raising 1.3 million birds per year. Sietzma Farms uh, started back with my grandfather probably about 50 years ago. Uh, he was a dairyman in the Allendale, Michigan area. Uh, raised a family of four sons and two daughters. Uh, the family uh, ran the, the dairy farm at that time. Uh, upon his retirement, uh, his different brothers uh, got into agriculture in different uh, directions. My dad uh, got interested in farming uh, back on the, the original farm, family farm, but uh, didn't want to be in the, in the dairy business in particular. So uh, he, he started a turkey farm for Bill Maher Foods uh, back in those days. Uh, from there, we've uh, grown our turkey production. Uh, we're now a part of the Michigan Turkey Producers Co-op in Michigan uh, that uh, finishes 4.5 million turkeys a year. Uh, we raise a little over a million turkeys ourselves. Uh, we also raise about uh, 500,000 head of swine annually in the state of Michigan. And uh, we've just kind of grown from that uh, dairy farm uh, back in the 30s and 40s uh, and 50s to the current operation where we're, we now have three generations working uh, in, in our offices and on the, on the various farms. As one of Michigan's largest turkey producers, Seatsmas has a positive impact on the state's soybean growers, for they purchase 24,000 tons of soybean meal annually from Zeeland Farm Services. 40% is fed to their birds with the rest to their swine, in all accounting for the production of close to 170 average Michigan soybean farmers. Harold Punter is Seatsma's turkey livestock production manager and has been part of the family, so to speak, for the past 30 years. These birds today um, are fed to the optimum growth. And I mean by that, that the, the feed is the match, the, uh, the age of the bird. So our feed has like 16 different recipes. So that's why the growth has increased tremendously and also that we're on a pelleted feed now. And what that does, it, every bite they take, it has all the trace minerals, all the uh, protein and the energy needs to, uh, to uh, put forth to growing. The feed mixture comes from two mills seats must operate, one in Ravana and one in Howard City. Those two facilities, along with farms in five counties, give a big boost to the economy as Seatsmas provide over 200 full-time jobs. Rick Rose is mill manager at Seatsmas Farm Feeds in Howard City. He oversees the production of 24 different recipes of feed depending on the animal's age. Each recipe contains corn and soybean meal and wheat. Uh, we take those products and we grind them to a particular micron size and we run them through our pellet mill, uh, which takes that mash and forces it through a die with 26,000 holes in it, and it turns it into a pellet. In our pelleting process, uh, we have a post-pelleting, uh, what we call a fat application. It's recycled vegetable oil, and we're currently using about 50,000 pounds of recycled vegetable oil every day. And what we do is we spray that on the pellet after it's been manufactured to increase the calorie count for the animal. Along with the creation of feed pellets at the Howard City Mill, Seatsmas made a substantial investment into a gasification system that turns turkey litter into electricity and steam to run the facility. And the ash from the burned litter is rich in minerals that can be used as a supplement in the feed. And so they've created an environmental loop per se, just another part of their commitment to their already environmentally verified farms. My family uh, eats the same turkey and, and pork product coming out of the grocery stores as my neighbors do. And I find that uh, find it very important that we raise a, a high quality uh, product that's safe for the consumer and uh, that we, 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 we show that. Uh, we don't try to hide anything and that we, uh, we're open and, and uh, honest about how we, uh, how, we, how we bring the product to market. Michigan's turkeys consume 32,000 tons of soybean meal annually. That's the meal from nearly 1.4 million bushels of soybeans. A fact not lost on the United Soybean Board and its farmer-supported checkoff program. Like soybean farmers, U.S. turkey producers work hard to provide the world with safe, affordable, and nutritious food. The soybean checkoff funds research, education, and promotional efforts to help support animal agriculture. 
including efforts that focus on improving the nutritional value of U.S. soybean meal to meet the needs of turkey producers. Soybeans serve as one of the main protein supplements for turkey feed. As a soybean farmer, I am proud I produce this beneficial feed source. Together with the checkoff, we help ensure a safe and nutritious product from our farm to your family's plate. You can learn more about the connection between crop production and animal agriculture by logging on to animalag.org. And there's a lot more to learn about the soybean industry in Michigan by logging on to michigansoybean.org.